the final P of our six P's that every student needs is personal connection. When we speak to students about their experience at Valencia and other colleges, and they tell us stories of succeeding beyond the odds, unlikely scholars, uncommon scholars, what we learn is that they very often attribute their success not to a program, not to a treatment, not to a pedagogy, certainly not to a strategic plan or buildings, but to a person. When I ask a student, why are you successful here? No one stands up and says, we've got great technology. Our buildings are beautiful. Our faculty have more advanced degrees than anybody else. What they tell me is, so-and-so believed in me. Professor X took extra time with me. My teacher made an exception for me. The personal dimension is really about everything we do from their first encounters at the college all the way through the end. And all the other five Ps are mediated through people. This is the great challenge to all institutions in our time. To be able to provide services to people at scale, which is a remarkable thing, but to do it without depersonalizing them. Making it personal is the only way this works. Personal connections are such a huge part of what Valencia does. We recognize that if people are going to achieve their goals, their dreams, they can't do it alone. They need the help of others. Those others can be experts that have gone there to those places before. So those can be advisors or faculty members, but they can also find personal connections with students. I came in as a first generation college student. I was a first generation American. And so coming to school, my parents, English is their second language, had no idea how to navigate through the system. It was because of, because of awesome staff members I met in housing, in admissions and financial aid that definitely just took me over under their wing and was like, if you don't know how to do it, that's fine. I will help you every step of the way. They didn't necessarily look like me. We weren't necessarily the same gender and it didn't matter. It was about them seeing something in me that I couldn't see in myself. And I'm sure they did it for thousands of people. But for me, it just felt so special and so tailored. I was on the verge of dropping out. You know, I was like on the verge of just saying to myself, I'm not gonna make it. This one professor, Dr. Finn, I always have to give her praise and just thanks for her having to guide me along the way. She guided me, she directed me, and it wasn't until that particular moment I realized I wanted to become a teacher. The, the most important relationship is between the student and the educator that they're interacting with, whether that's a faculty member or a staff member. That's what matters the most, and I feel like the rest of us are just supporting casts to that. For the new student experience class, we have things called co-curricular experiences where students are required to get out of the classroom and attend three different activities where they're going to be connecting with not only staff at Valencia, but other students as well. And that's just to help them build those personal connections, make those friends. If a professor has an open door policy, they feel stu uh, students feel that they can always come in, talk to them, email them anytime. That gives a student a certain connection, you know, with the professor. Um, and one of the initiatives I have the honor of supporting is our LINK initiative. And with LINK, students are in a cohort and they take two classes back to back with the same group of students. And one of the reasons why LINK works is because of the bonds that they're developing with students and the faculty members in now two of the classes versus just one class they would normally have with this group. I think Valencia does a great job of giving our students hands-on in the class, but there's only so much because it's in a classroom. But when you can get out into the real world, and that's, that's just such a blessing. And the service learning is just key on so many aspects. So talk about personal connection. Oh my gosh, you know, they're connecting. Of course, they're working in teams with students on these projects, so they're working with other engineering students, but then they're also connecting with engineers in the field. A community of students, advisors, faculty, staff helping each other um, reach their goals. Um, we're, by nature, we're relational beings. We need to have connections with one another. It's what brings fun. It's what allows us to get to the, the rough spots in life. It's what keeps us going. So last summer, I was doing, you know, my group advising sessions as I normally do after orientation 
And this group was a particularly large group, so I wasn't really able to do the personal connection with as many students as I'd like. And I was just trying to get them through, you know, the full process and registration and everything on time. So as I ended the session, there was one student who was particularly distraught about um, not having more time, and, and I could see that she needed that one-on-one -on -one help. So um, though she was upset about, you know, having to stay for a while, I said, well, you're welcome to uh, come with me to my office and I will, will continue the conversation and help you out. And, Though frustrated, she did, and we talked through kind of what she was coming to college with and her concerns both in and outside of school. And for her, it was really an issue of there was more turmoil going on in her general life, and she was you know, finalizing a divorce, returning to college after several years of working, and she was trying to figure out how she'd juggle uh, starting school, needing to do developmental classes, and then also having a full-time job and, and a long commute. So for her, we just work through the, the overall process of how do you balance all this? Is this okay? What is going to be your best uh, mental health, uh, physical health, and then also start school and, and keep everything in balance? So as we work through that, um, she came several times throughout her first semester and she was always eager to make sure, did I make the right decision? Is this okay? Did I turn this in on time? But thankfully, her anxiety about it actually produced a great semester because she, she really focused on the classes. She really made sure she had everything in on time and she checked in all the time. So her second semester, she was so excited because she completed everything with A's and just the fact that she completed everything was a huge success for her because she really thought she wouldn't be able to. So for her, she comes to see me at least once a month. She's just checking in just to be sure everything's okay. But because of that, we're constantly just kind of making sure she's on the right path, she's got everything together, but she constantly says, I'm so glad you're here. I'm, I'm glad I'm, I can pop in and see you. I'm glad I can call because it just helps my, my mental state to know that I'm okay someone is taking care of this if there's an issue and and I feel like a person when I'm here.